Well, water has started to recede tonight, thankfully, in Yellowstone National Park, revealing the damage left behind by some incredible historic flooding. Businesses have closed. About 10,000 visitors were forced to evacuate the park. And many of them were there to celebrate the 150th anniversary. A lot of popularity as well in this area because of the hit TV show starring Kevin Costner, Yellowstone. John Ostland is the Yellowstone County Commissioner and is joining us tonight. Uh, John, thank you so much for being with us. I understand you're a pilot as well. You flew above all of this damage to survey um, how much damage had been done. Uh, describe for us what you saw from the air. Yes, ma'am. Well, we've had, uh, this is probably uh, record flooding, likely the 500 year flood stage uh, in Billings, Montana, Yellowstone County, the seat. Uh, flood stage on the river, minor flood stage is 13.5. Uh, major flood stage is 15.5, and we were 16.5 or 17. And uh, thankfully in Yellowstone County, we didn't have a whole lot of infrastructure damage, but we had uh, so many properties that were flooded. As you can see, they're just uh, multiple residences along the river and businesses just underwater. And uh, we evacuated a few people our neighboring counties, uh, Carbon County and Park County and Stillwater County, there's like the pictures you see there of the National Park, there's hardly a road that's open. They washed eight or 10 bridges out in Carbon County, multiple culverts and uh, creek crossings. So it's a, a real challenge right now to get people around. Right, and you mentioned all of the homes and businesses that have been lost, John. Uh, what's the impact on the people who live there in the immediate um, time frame? Well, uh, a lot of people are basically homeless right now. Uh, Yellowstone County, we don't have a shelter. Carbon County does have a shelter at their fairgrounds. I believe that uh, Park County and probably Stillwater County do also. And, uh, you know, most of those people, the water's going to go down, and now they're going to go back and have just a quite a cleanup to do that dirty water and mud just makes one heck of a mess and destroyed a lot of property and uh, ruined a lot of lives right now and mm -hmm. thankfully uh, we got a very resilient population here they've all pulled together uh, the morale is good and i think uh, we'll work together and get through this mess no oh, i don't doubt that for a second john uh, i also understand that the course of one of the rivers through there has been altered could you see that from the air well the uh, the course of the Clarks Fork River uh, moved in and out uh, out of its banks in numerous places, went around a lot of bridges, uh, washed some out. And uh, so, yeah, there will uh, there'll be some changes for quite a while. And that, Yellowstone National Park along uh, the highway there that goes from Gardner through the park, uh, you've seen in some of your photos, it may take years to put that highway back together. That's going to require a lot of engineering and a lot of federal aid. Hmm. What's the t plan in the short term to address all this damage? I mean, how do you even begin the cleanup? Well, you know, we're going to look for all the contractors and help that we can. And, uh, of course, the people will be doing a lot of it on their own. But the roads and bridges, uh, they've, they've found some alternate routes in a lot of cases, got the people moving. They're not great roads. Some of them wow. going into Yellowstone Park or gravel. So they're not going to work for the tourism that's going to really be affected and this will affect the business model in all those counties significantly. Uh, a lot of cancellations already because we have a lot of people want to come and see Yellowstone Park and it's going to be difficult to get there this year. Yeah, well, let's hope things dry up soon. We're thinking about all of you as you start this cleanup process, especially those who have lost so much in this. John Ostland, Yellowstone County Commissioner. Appreciate your time tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.